technical difficulties. So, there we go. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry about that. So, we're trying to get back online. You need to turn that down, Cindy. Um, we're giving everybody a chance to get back online if you are around still or just tuning in. I'm here at Lily's with Lily Mix and I've got a canvas that I'm getting ready to swipe some angel wings on. We had some technical difficulties. I have a really old computer and it's like super slow and we lost signal and now we're back. So I'm just getting ready to swipe some angel wings. So do we have any viewers? Uh, so can everybody hear me okay? I want to make sure everybody can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Come over here, Lily, and get in the picture for a minute. You want to come over and get in the picture? And pull your, just pull your chair back that way a little bit. I'm letting Lily come over so she can get in. <laughs> come to, or come this way. <laughs> you can hear me then. Okay, that's awesome. Great. <laughs> Here, just just come around the no. back of the camp. Oh, there we go. Lily's coming over. Want to make sure everybody okay. saw Lily. Lily DeVoe. We're just waiting for a few people to come back. Sorry, <laughs> we had technical difficulties. And oh my, you're having a little less weight than you need there. Yeah, something. well, it's, it started to dry, so I'll squirt. I don't really need it there, though. I'm swiping this way, so. Yeah, you. Oh, that's okay. Walk this way. Oh no. Oh, behind. Yeah. That's okay. so, yeah. where I set it up. Yeah. Let me know. Do you want it down? Okay, well, nah, well we, were just we want to wait till see how many people are tuned in, and then I'll go ahead and adjust the camera. So, I'm at Lily's in Wilmington, and I live a few hours away, and we decided to do a pour together, and she's going to probably shoot me when I'm done because of my slow uh, computer. So. No, <laughs> no, I understand. I couldn't get my computer to do it. So, we have to, we have to be up to date with technology, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> My so, computer's up to date, but she, I can go and spend all those little triggery things that you spent money on. Yeah, see, I bought the new. I bought the new camera. She has the better computer, so now I've got to get a better computer. Yeah. So okay. okay, so I'm gonna get back. We're gonna focus back on the canvas because I had already put the uh, paint on the canvas. So we're gonna just go back down. Okay, I'm gonna go back to mixing, guys. So I had put paint on with my squirt bottles and it's kind of spread out a little bit so this will be really interesting because I have no idea what it's going to turn out like. And the canvas is starting to dry on the edges because I put just a light coat but I'm going to put, I'm just putting a little fresh white along the edges. How many people we have watching Sandy? 57. Okay. 57? Mm -hmm. Well that's pretty good. Thank you everyone for joining. And thank you everyone for waiting or coming in. You know, we had a snafu. Thank you for being patient. So, I'm going to take my small, smallest swiping tool, my scraper, and I'm just going to come down. So, I wanted to see my color combination here, which... Can I throw, some, throw a wrench in her project, guys? <laughs> no, she can't throw a wrench in my project. Okay, here we go again. So we're just swiping down. So I got, I got to come with longer strokes here. I'm going to put a little bit more white on the canvas. You do love that gold. You have gold on there, right? Yes, I have gold and bronze and copper. I find the metallics, they frustrated me, so I threw them in the garbage. 
I love I love metallics. Okay, so that is two. So okay, here we go. Yours is nice. So I'm just doing it's a very light touch, and you see how I got a little too close to the canvas here, and it um, it went down to the canvas. Where's the zoom button? It's that one on top there. Right there? Yeah. So. So what, now, it said it didn't want to, it said, can I do blah, blah, blah. So we'll have to do it like this. It's this one up here. It's okay. That oh. goes, okay. I, I tried it, it told me no. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna put some more white on this side. Um, I'm gonna do. I gave everybody a headache. <laughs> <laughs> Making everybody drunk over there. Yeah. I'm gonna throw a little extra. That wasn't even in the original one. I'm putting a little bit of extra paint since it sat here for a little while. So again, a very light touch. They are starting to look like angel wings. See, I pushed a little too hard there and it goes down to the to the white. So you have to be very delicate with your touch on this. Yeah, it looks great heavy. Here. Okay. All right. No, actually, so the, the colors that are in the bottle are half acrylic paint and half Floetrol, like I always mix. And then on the metallics, I add a little bit of water. Did you add silicone? And silicone is in all the colors except for white. So you, um, but I mix. Any colors without silicone? So all your models are all your paints are mixed. Pre mixed with silicone. Yes, and they stay mixed in my bottles with silicone and I shake them. And that's what produces the smaller cells, but I always have plenty of cells and the, the silicone stays stored in the bottles in the colors. So I'm just swiping very gently. I don't have a lot of paint on this canvas. This is the one thing about swiping is you don't waste paint. It's it's yeah. good about not wasting paint. And it doesn't go everywhere, all over your carpet. So there's some angel wings, but see I had, I've envisioned in my mind if I painted angel wings, I wanted it to have some golden metallic hair. They're, it's beautiful. So I'm going to add that with my bottles and kind of do that more in an artistic fashion if I can. Or maybe she'll have reddish golden hair. We're just going to play. So I'm going to start with my copper. Uh, as far as how long I store this paint in the bottles, it's indefinitely. Like, I, some of it's been in for months. And as I run out of it, I just replenish it with more paint mixed with the Floetrol and the silicone. And I just add it to my bottles. So, um, you know, it, it, you can they last indefinitely. And the paint does not go bad. It's, uh, and I love it because it's stored in a bottle and you don't have to mix paint every time you want to do something. Now, if you want, I do love coconut milk and I do, if I use coconut milk, I'll do a fresh mix of paint with the coconut milk because you get nice, big, juicy, plump cells with very, very little coconut milk. So she's got some copper She's got some copper colored hair and I'm putting some gold accents in here. And this, I don't know if I'm going to swipe it or not. I'm just kind of, right now, I'm just kind of squeezing it in with my bottles. And maybe I'll put a dress on her. 
just to kind of tie the colors in. She'll have a flowing dress on of some sort. Oh, and she's got to have a halo, right? Oh, you're actually putting an angel in there. Yeah. Don't swipe. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave her hair, I think, the way it is. You like the way I told you what to do with your pen? Silicone in each bottle. See, this is a wider no, tipped bottle. So oh, I, that should be the gold one. I mean, light, like yellow. Like, well, that was my Pellis Gold. I have a cream color. You know, like here. Can you get... Uh, well, I, ha I do have a, a buttery yellow. So in each bottle, the bottles hold about eight ounces of paint mixture. And so in a cup, I would mix probably about three ounces of paint. Lying phthalo blue. <laughs> I'd mix three ounces of paint, three ounces of Floetrol. And like if you use deco art, you don't have to add water because it's fluid in the bottles. But if you're using two paints like Liquitex or something like that, then you're going to need to add some water to thin it down. And I do all of that in a cup. And then I add a drop of silicone per ounce of paint mixture. So if you've got seven or eight ounces of paint mixture, then you're going to need about seven drops of silicone in that whole bottle. So I've got people here watching us from Ireland and Canada. That is so awesome. Yes, you could do a Christmas angel. So I'm just going to do like a flowing dress here. Why not? And do it kind of in the colors from her wings. Hello in the UK. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to put a little pink in her dress. All right. And I'm going to use some metallic gold. And it's, it's so nice to have people from all over the world watching us. That is just so awesome. Yeah, I'm going to swipe the dress. I definitely am. This is awesome. So. Now I have a competition. There's I'm gonna. Sign off so I, get on. I lost you on the last feed, and we're, since we're new now, I've got a new silicone brush. It's a one inch, and here's a two inch brush. And I got these on Amazon, and there are no bristles. And I thought these would be good tools to swipe with because they're nice and flexible. So I'm going to just try it in small sections and swipe and see what happens here. I need I think I need more white. Me too. Why did I mix these colors? Now I don't like them. <laughs> What am I do with that? So Lily's mixing her colors because after I finish, then she's going to do her thing. I have to give them something different. And see, we had all the technical difficulties with me, so when she's on here, it's going to be smooth sailing. So don't leave. Says, yeah. Uh, can you get a Lily's wanting Here, to let me just adjust this. <laughs> Lily's wanting to touch my painting. If you don't put some white right here, do you have anything for beginners? It, you would really have. If this is coming out great, Who, I did, did not you practice this. No, I was just thinking in my head about it. I have not practiced it. That's the problem. I was so upset how we didn't get this quite right. 
I didn't get a chance to think about. See, I'm going to have her dress flowing out. A I, well, I haven't. I didn't. I didn't know what colors I was going to use. I I knew I wanted to use metallics. So this is all just kind of on the spur of the moment what I decided to use. Who votes for phthalo green? She's going to use some. She's going to use some bright, bold colors when she gets in here with hers. You might have to give into my expertise. As far as videos for beginners, Lily, Lily's Mix, her channel, I know she has a lot of beginner stuff, and I do too. Mine's kind of mixed in, and it'll usually be in the title of the video. They'll, it'll say something about a, a beginner's tutorial, how to mix. And a lot of my videos, I'll try to tell you at the beginning of the videos how I mix them. So... Um, I try to share with people how I mix things and I kind of fast forward it but I'll show you maybe one that I do in like regular time so that you can watch. So let's see. I'm going to see if I can add a few of these blonde highlights on her hair. So this is kind of, we're just doing kind of an arty angel. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. I just knew that I wanted some flowing hair. You know, I've got a mermaid that I want to do that's going to be four feet on a four foot canvas. So she's going to be a large mermaid and I'm going to have her very shimmery. I'm going to have all kinds of metallic paints and all different colors and so, you know, I want, I want my mermaid to have beautiful golden hair for some reason or just beautiful shimmery hair. So, I'm just going in. I have, I have, these are smaller bottles that you can get. And they have a pretty controlled point, like it's called a writer bottle, like as if in writing with it. So you have a little bit more control of the paint coming out. So I'm just putting some little accents on her hair here. Stay tuned, you won't have to watch me mixing all my colors. Now, I'm just wondering, should I outline my wings or should I leave them white? Leave them white. Leave them white? Yeah. Grace, you need to put the dressing white. No, it doesn't. Tell Greg he's wrong. You have to. <laughs> Greg, repeat the question. Greg said the dress needed more white, but he's wrong. So, Katie asked what paints you generally use. So, a lot of my paints in my bottles are deco art because I do a lot of deco art videos. And if I'm not using deco art, usually my second choice is Liquitex Basics, which is in the tube. So, I'm just going to come over the tops of the edges of the wings with my white just to give it a little bit more definition. Oops. Thank you, Cheryl, for the suggestion. And let's see. I don't like my halo. I might have to just knock it off and do it again. So that's what I have my little handy credit card for. Is oh oh and look. I just dropped my paper towel in my wing, oh, no. but, but that's okay. I can, I can straighten that out. I'm all about making mistakes and fixing them. So see, I'm just swiping my halo off on this edge. It was just too thick and didn't look very nice. Bye bye halo. Okay. So all I do is just squeeze a little bit of white back over it. Nothing that can't be fixed. And just using my little scraper just to kind of even it back out. And it does, it will self-level over time as it dries. And even if it doesn't, dry perfectly flat, that's okay too. That's the whole part of having 
something that's painted is it has that artistic feel. I'm just relining my wing here that I dropped my paper towel in. Oh, it's, it's okay. It turned out okay. Okay. So the only thing I want to do is, me being the artist that I am, I want to put a little color against the wings to make it make the edges of the wings show up just a little bit better. So I think I'm just going to do a little light edge of pink. Yes, it would be pretty on black. Or any color, really. To be honest, I didn't know what color I was going to swipe with at the beginning, so that's why um, I'm adding just a little bit of color. So I'm just going to pull this out a little bit. And I do not have a steady hand. If you can see me shaking here, I never have had a steady hand, so it's a little bit on the shaky side. It's because you ate a bunch of chocolate. I saw you. <laughs> I did not have any chocolate. I've painted for 20 years and everybody has said, oh, you just must have a really steady hand. And it's like, now I actually have a very shaky hand. So there, just to add a little bit of color to separate the wings a little bit. Thank you very much for your kind comments. And my rule of thumb always is if you think you've screwed up on something, you can always kind of scrape it off and do it again. Don't give up. You never use the torch. I don't on swipes. I don't I do not use my heat gun or or torch on swiping. Because the the cells automatically come up maybe because they've been in the bottles and they've been shaken and that kind of thing. So um, I don't use the heat gun when I do swiping. So that just gives it a little pink glow in the sky and separates the edge of the wings a little bit. So put that back and maybe I'll just do a little little white halo. I'll make her hair come out a little bit further. Why not? And I'm just dragging the tip of the bottle literally, literally, literally I can't even speak, literally through the paint. And, and the, these are metallics here in the middle. They're not really, it's not selling up that much, but I don't have any white mixed in. And white is what, the white against the colors is what causes the cell reaction because there's no silicone in the white, but all of the other colors have silicone. So that's why when you have these colors here in the middle with the metallics and the silicone, there's not really any cells because there's nothing fighting against it without silicone, if that makes sense. You like the white halo? Um, I'm going to go in right in it, underneath it just a little bit to give it a little bit of an underline. So, so what does everybody think? Do you think I'm finished? Should I add anything?
I'm adding a little bit here where I hit it with the paper towel. I'm just sticking a little bit of white back here. And when you swipe, every time you're swiping, you always make sure to wipe your tool off too because if you don't, you'll, you'll put that color. Um, let's see. <laughs> Someone says you should outline her gown, and you are, huh? There I go. I'm outlining the gown. This is a bronze, so. And. We forgot to turn on Super Chat. Did we? Mm -hmm. We don't know how to do that. I think they donate money and bump their question up or do something. Okay. Know. We promise that we'll do a better job next time when we go live. We'll have our ducks in a row on a better level, I tell you what. <laughs> you guys don't know the fiasco we went <laughs> So y'all think I should put a little pink down here? Is that what you think? I've got... No. Well, like she's in the clouds. Is she in the clouds? Like the little, bit of, the little bit of pink. That's a, the, oh, I love the halo now. <laughs> should I put pink down here or leave it white? I, I like a lot of white space. Yeah, I, th I think we need the white because we've got the colors coming in and the white separates the colors. Um, I didn't get to control the tips of her wings like I could have done like with a paintbrush, but it's really pretty. The metallics are really, I don't, you probably cannot see the detail of the metallics, but it's a little bit of silver and gold and copper and you can see the layers. It's really pretty. It's kind of iridescent in the light. It's kind of nice. So. I'm going to see if I can bring the camera in. We can flip, well, or maybe flip I can bring... The, let's flip the painting over now. I'll flip let it me. over for you. Okay? Let's flip the painting over so they can see it. Okay. Turn it around. I'll do that and you zoom in. Get behind so you're not in front of the pool. Okay. All right. So I'm trying to zoom in where you can see. Okay. So there's her hair with her halo and a little bit of pink in the heavens. And then, so there's the wings. Here, I can't, I can't tilt it too much, or the cells will move That's around. That's okay. Let me just. And there's our dress. Zoom out, and it'll be fine. If you zoom out, then I can just move the canvas. You got to zoom out more for them to see it. It does look. A, it, lo it looks like a little girl, doesn't it? Yeah, it's pretty. Okay. So there's a little bit of a swiping lesson. And then Lily's going to come in and she's going to do her thing. I'll move my stuff. I'll move it back into the okay, box. You can't get okay. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. I'm moving in, folks. Somebody else is going to come out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving out. He <laughs> I have to have my white background. Yeah, just drop it on the... Oops. Oh, well. All right, you guys. Now stay tuned. Okay. I know what's going to happen. Everybody's leaving. 
Alright, I have to improvise. I don't know how this is going to work, but this is the biggest canvas I could find right now. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. Okay, got that? Oh, I'm looking for to have a clean canvas. I have than this. Yeah, that's bigger than the extra ones I brought. Okay, so let me real quick. This was mixed a long time ago. I think it's pretty good. I know I'm going to start with with white. Yeah, you you'll see your face some. You want your face in? Yeah. Give me a microphone, okay. I don't know how this works. There you go. That's all. Just leave that near you. Or either clip it. Okay. Alright, so I think I'm going to pour white all over the canvas and I don't know, some kind of ring pour. Alright, let's spread some white. I asked if you you all live close to each other. Oh, I need my uh, jar. Got it just on the table? You could. All right, never mind. You just zoom in on the canvas so that you don't have to see my mess. They want to know if you all live close to each other. Oh, we live about two hours apart. Can you zoom in so you just get the canvas so we don't have all it this is. mess? It's, it's common. Oh, okay. Okay. So since we had a quick setup, I don't think that's going to be enough at all. I didn't mix enough, guys. Let's see what you I have. You want to use some of my white in the squeeze bottle? No, I don't put... Um, it doesn't have silicone in it. Oh, it doesn't? No. Okay. What brand of white did you use? It is Artist Loft. Okay. That would have been good. If you need it, you can use it. It doesn't have any silicone. Okay. Now let's Clip it. Let's clip it to your edge of your. There you go. Okay, thanks. Here we go. Real fast with my comb. Come on, guys. Carrie's Put a post on Facebook. Get some more viewers in. Chocolate and wine? Chocolate's my, my pills. I, I take chocolate pills. <laughs> okay, I need some Artist Loft White right here. Uh -huh. Oh, that's... And then I'm going to have to use it in my pour. That's fine. A little bit. I'll pay you back your bite. Today she said that she's drinking wine and y'all are making her laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I hope I get a funny. You never know. I don't plan my funnies, but sometimes I get them. I have my jug too. If oh, more, I wish one. Well, I'll stick more in the bottle and for you. Thank you. Oh, so you guys are able to give us a donation? What's Misty's question? Thank you, Misty, so so much. Misty said for the wine. Oh, for the wine? <laughs> All right. All right, it's glad, I'm glad to hear somebody's having some wine. Let's see, what can I whine about? What happened lately? Oh, you guys, some of you know about my neighbor across the street and down, you know, I'm on the third floor, so he's on the main street. And he yells constantly because he has a mental illness. And so he's been yelling for like 10 years that I've been living here. Well, you know, sometimes you guys ask me because you don't hear him in the background. I, 
I haven't heard him in a week. I, I just haven't heard him, so I don't know. Maybe he's in the hospital or I, I, I don't, maybe it's just too hot out. It's been really hot, hot, hot. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this up here. I do have a drop cloth past my um, canvas. And boom, boom, and bang. Okay, I have a choice of cups here. Okay, so it's, it's still light a little bit. Okay. okay, so you can see these cups, guys. Mm -hmm. Um, so I have a choice. So we have uh, bright green from Arteza. Or Tezza. We have Magenta from AC Moore, which is a store brand. Thalo Green from AC Moore. Purple from Artist Loft. Green that I didn't mix yet because I was not moving fast enough. Well, it won't take too long. Ask some questions, guys. So go ahead and ask me from there. Go ahead. Sandy, will you ask the questions for us? Questions? No, no, no questions? No questions right now? Well... Okay, so I'm going to put treadmill silicone And some of these colors I use my dry pouring medium, which is uh, one part uh, uh, Elmer's glue all I've been using for years because I like the way that it holds the cells. Uh, they don't continue to move after you um, create your cells after you do your pour. It doesn't continue to move. So I am stuck for something to hold my canvas on, and that's not going to work. So, sorry guys. Tell them what your mix is again. They want to know what your okay recipe is. One part, uh, Elmer's glue all, and and that. And then, all right, say three parts Elmer's glue all to one part water. But what I really tell everybody to do is, <laughs> this is, um, just add water to your Elmer's glue all according to the paints that you are using. And what I mean by that is, if you are using the, oh, jeez. Um, a little, if you, oh gosh, you guys, I'm stuck. I got a hair in there and I don't have my rag. Here's a rag. <laughs> Wait. All right, let me start that again. I'm so sorry. If you're using little craft paints, you don't need to add any water to your Elmo's glue all. If you're using soft body paints, put some, thank you so much, put some water in your glue all according to the thickness of your paints. So there's no solid recipe. If you're using hard body paints, you just need to add water. You know, so it's not a perfect science. The recipe is sort of like the Mod Podge recipe. If you look up online and you see Mod Podge, um, can, can they see all the way to the back of the table? Maybe I can stop dripping on my floor? Yes. Okay. okay. You're not dripping on the floor. I just wanted to make sure it was kind of close to the edge. Okay. Can you help me? Um, it's not, oh, you want it up? Yeah, take this. You think I'll get near? I think we'll hold it up like that. Okay, something like that. Four hands are better than two. Yeah. 
Okay, so now I'm going to fill my cup and I don't know if you guys will see it. You guys, uh, I think this size should be good. If not, I'll just pour two cups. So I'm going to put some white in the bottom that doesn't have silicone. I don't know if I should have done that. Okay, I didn't put my treadmill in. I'm going to just use the bottom of my um, treadmill lubricant, treadmill belt lubricant, and I'm going to put some in this yellow with the cat hair in it. <laughs> and some in the and a drop in the light green. Why did I do that? I said I'm using this one. Since you ever have cracking with the glue all? No, I never have cracking with the glue all, ever. Um, what I have cracking with is a very inexpensive paint, like craft paint, will um, crack. Cheap, cheap craft paints will crack.